Kalter Bas Shalom. My name is Shalom Tobal. I'm an independent art curator. I was born in Tel Aviv, in Israel, and I live and work in Tel Aviv. Uh, welcome to Wild Beach Tel Aviv, the, a new brand uh, exclusive uh, luxury hotel. Uh, the hotel is hosting an amazing uh, art project called Digi Art, it's a digital art incubator. Uh, a new platform, artistic platform, promoting young Israeli artists, creating in the dig digital media like photography, video art, animation, etc. So follow me and we will discover what is the new project. Digi Art uh, is a digital art uh, incubator. Uh, which means that uh, it's a promoting platform, uh, promoting young Israeli artists, 18 Israeli artists, uh, creating in the digital media like photography, uh, like photography, animation, and uh, video art. Uh, the hotel is is exhibiting in the public. Um, public spaces, uh, 13 different exhibitions that I curated, which all of them are uh, curated around the subject of the, the medium, the medium of photography, and what does it mean today in, a, in an era that where everybody is a kind of photographer, shooting millions of photographies every day, and the camera has become a kind of accessory. So what is the difference actually between an art which is made in photography and another just uh, photography made with, uh, with the iPhone, for example. Uh, the rooms, all the rooms have uh, different, uh, in the rooms are showed different um, artworks, 400 of them. Of course, uh, nobody can see them all, but soon there will be a website which will uh, exhibit all the, the artworks. All the artworks in the, in the hotel are for sale. The, the, the prices and all the details are just written in, uh, in small labels beside all the, um, the artworks. So let's go upstairs and uh, start our uh, guided tour to the exhibitions. We are at the 18th floor of the, of the hotel. There is a small series of work from uh, Elite Kadoui, which is shown here. Uh, this series is very interesting because it's uh, showing... Uh, the, the artist is uh, a little... Uh, she's half blind. And uh, you can see a black spot on the, on the, on the photography. And she actually wanted uh, the viewers to, uh, to feel what she can see and what she cannot see. So, uh, of course, it's a very aesthetic and very uh, beautiful uh, uh, series of work of uh, flowers and bouquet. Uh, but you can see that uh, the black, black stains and, and shadows uh, that are all around the, the photography. I, we are on the 16th floor of the hotel. Here is uh, shown a group exhibition of two artists, Nirit Gurkabi and Liron Kroll. Uh, the two artists are... Uh, the, the name of the exhibition is Palpable Memory. I gave it uh, this name because uh, all the exhibition is talking about what is, what is a memory and how can it be uh, uh, figured on, on, on photography and the, how, the, how can it be perceived. Um, we have uh, this, this cube, this first cube is, uh, uh, represents uh, works, exhibit works of Nirit Gurkabi and the, the second cube of Oli uh, Kor. And in this uh, first uh, gallery, we have uh, a very, very nice series from Nirit that uh, showed uh, that 
uh, it's, show, that are, it's showing uh, a kind of uh, memories from her childhood, or maybe her childhood or not, but from a childhood um, with very, uh, with a lot of hidden, uh, hidden things. Uh, you can see, for example, the the legs of a, of a, of a kid. Uh, does the kid playing or does she running from something? We don't know. There's a lot of uh, mystery in her photographies. The circus is very uh, flu, and uh, it's also it can represent something also a little bit traumatic. Um, these two photographies are also uh, talking about friendship, about um, uh, childhood friendship. Let's go to the other one. In this second gallery, Liron Kroll is showing four works, uh, which uh, uh, most of them are taken from uh, uh, video works that she is doing. She is graduated from the Royal College uh, in uh, in London, in um, in um, and she works for the BBC actually in animation. And uh, her series of work are very between uh, uh, poetic, but there is also something uh, very sad behind it. Uh, very uh, the stories uh, can be can be interpreted in different ways, uh, but I like in all this exhibition the kind of mystery that is uh, arising and uh, all the, question, the questions about uh, the memories, about uh, childhood, around this. Let's go to another exhibition. All the exhibitions that you, you see and which are shown in the, in the, in the incubator, in the hotel, uh, were made actually in, a, in the inverse sense of uh, the, cur the curation process. Uh, I first of all received all the works from the, from the artist and then I created with the works, uh, I developed uh, the, the subject that I wanted to deal with uh, around the, the digital medium. And this is uh, an important uh, thing to to mention. Here we are at the 14th floor and uh, in this gallery there is a group exhibition uh, which is called Light Space, uh, participating Liron Sandman and uh, Kai Tzhaki. Uh, the, uh, the artists are playing with, uh, with the, the light and uh, with projection of light they create uh, new spaces, different spaces. You can see in this series of works, this is a, this is a photography taken from a video art. Uh, the video is a uh, guy, the artist, projected on the, the new, the new uh, museum of Tel Aviv, uh, projected uh, different, uh, different uh, kind of uh, video and animations that he developed. He is coming from the mathematic, uh, uh, mathematic side of, uh, of the art. And uh, he actually gave a new uh, function to the to the uh, to the architecture. Uh, it it looks like a little bit uh, a red of the of the of the museum of Tel Aviv. It's a kind of different object. Liron, on the other side, she created a new um, new landscape by projecting uh, colorful uh, colorful uh, lights. On the on vegetations, and there is a whole series of work with this kind of light. We can see some of them there. Jennifer, here we can see the uh, different. Here we can see the, the projection of the colorful light of the vegetation of Livon. And in the other side, there is a projection of uh, Guy Tzhaki, the same kind of projection on the Tel Aviv Museum. He actually built a new landscape with this projection and gave a new function to the, to the landscape. And 
this is what I wanted to inquire in this exhibition. Here we are on the 13th floor. There are two solos exhibitions, small exhibition. The first one is uh, from Asaf Klieger, and the second one is from uh, Rui Ozen. Asaf Klieger is uh, the name of the exhibition is a journal of uh, of a journey. Asaf went uh, for a very long uh, journey in South America, and what he did is that he created for each country he went, he created a kind of flag, a kind of uh, the texture and the colors and everything. Uh, from one single country. He actually super, super imposed uh, thousands, like 20,000 photographies, one uh, on each other, on top of each other, and that's why you can have this uh, very complex uh, texture which looks like a little bit uh, like a painting. And uh, each, uh, each, each one of them represents another country. This one is uh, Argentina, for example, and this one is uh, Chile. So you can see that uh, the light in Chile was much, much more warmer than the light in, in Argentina or in Brazil, the other side. It's much more colorful than, for example, in, uh, in Bolivia, which is very green. All this floor is, uh, is talking about the, the technical side of the photography. Uh, the, other, the first one was uh, the superimposition of many, many layers of photographies, and this one is about low exposure. When you take uh, a photography and you put the low exposure in, in your camera, it's actually capturing uh, very, very slowly the light. So that's why you have this uh, very uh, smooth uh, texture of the sea and you can see the, the, the figures uh, uh, in, in, the, in the photographies like very, uh, very, 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 uh, very light, very, it, it, it looks like very romantic, uh, very lyric, uh, very lyric uh, narrative. Hi, we are on the uh, 9th floor uh, in the exhibition uh, of Anner Gelem and the Tom Buchstein. The exhibition is, uh, this one is about uh, uh, the order and disorder in, in the cultural and uh, sociological aspect uh, of, of, the, of photography. Um, I actually superimposed the photographies that are dealing with uh, a kind of uh, orientalism and uh, the way that it is represented in the in the in the in the art in the history of art, the orientalism and his will to uh, to um, to make the the disorder of uh, the Orient uh, a, a kind of a romantic in the kind of romantic uh, aspect. So I took, uh, for example, this uh, this uh, pair of carpets from uh, from Anair, uh, which is very uh, Middle Eastern uh, image and very local uh, image, and uh, superimposed it with a kind of a disorder uh, of a stain of a cafe on a, on a table. And this looks like a kind of abstract, uh, abstract uh, painter. And uh, if we go in the, on the other side, on the other gallery, we have the order of uh, Tom Buchstein uh, taking pictures and photographing uh, facades of, uh, of buildings in Tel Aviv. And the very straight, uh, very straight, and very organized structures. Um, Tom is uh, inquiring in her photography the sociological aspect of uh, of the architecture. That's why she's uh, she has this very structured way of uh, presenting the photography. In the other side, 
Besides this order, we have the disorder of the black coffee that you can drink in Israel. Uh, it can seem uh, a picture of, uh, from every day, but it has something uh, very oriental uh, go, that goes with the, the oriental and the, the disorganized uh, structure of the oriental carpet. And all this uh, together makes it uh, make the color of the, the place where we live in Israel. The hotel was designed by Harold Klein, uh, a German uh, well-known designer, and it was designed to host uh, uh, contemporary art with the white cubes in the in the floors, which we have seen, and all the public spaces. I would like to mention that the hotel is always open to people that uh, like art and wants to see the exhibition. They can come anytime to see the exhibition and of course to support the artist and uh, purchase the works. Thank you very much to Culture Bus.